Praise the Lord and welcome to Shema O Israel. Listen O Israel, the awakening of the mind and the soul. Today the Lord says, tell all the faint hearted. And that is what we listen to a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 16 verse 33. I have said this to you so that in me you may have peace. In the world you face persecution, but take courage, I have conquered the world. This is the gospel of the Lord. Because there will be a road, a way of salvation, a way, a path for the poor. We read from the St. Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians chapter 5 14 and we urge you beloved to admonish the idlers encourage the faint-hearted help the weak be patient with all of them hallelujah in this way they shall return all those who are ransomed by the Lord all the poor the blind the lame the far away from the Lord the sinners and all of them shall sing happiness from the book of Leviticus chapter 26 verse 36 says and we read in this way and as for those of you who survive I will send faintless into their hearts in the lands of their enemies the sound of a driven leaf shall put them to flight in that they shall flee as one flees from the sword and they shall fall though no one pursues this is the Lord's own gate where the just may enter we will thank you for you have answered us O Lord and you are our Savior the psalmist proclaims in Psalms 73 26 my flesh and my heart may fail but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever the Lord is my strength and my song he is my Savior there will be shouts of joy and victory in the house of the just prophet Isaiah consoles each one of us in chapter 35 verse 4 Say to those who are having a fearful heart, Be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Who in your life has an anxious heart? Is it you? A friend? We may not have all the right words to calm a troubled heart. But God himself gives us the words to say boldly, we can speak to one another, fear not, God will save you. In Galatians 6.9, the scriptures tells us, let us not grow weary in doing what is right, for we will reap at harvest time if we do not give up. When the storm of anxiety is threatening our little lives, we lift up our eyes to the Savior and praise His name. We sing, praise and worship the Lord our God. We listen to truth that God stands alongside of us. Saint Paul reveals to us to live by our strong faith in his second letter to the Corinthians 4.16. So we do not lose heart, even though our outer nature is wasting away. Our inner nature is being renewed day by day. Today is the day made for all of us by the Lord himself. Let us rejoice and be glad. We shall not die and he did not abandon us to death. O oh Lord, grant us salvation. O oh Lord, grant us success. In Psalms 138.8, again the psalmist proclaims, The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. 
Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. The Bible says in the first letter of Peter 1, 3, Blessed be the Lord and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Well, then it is time to make word of God prominent in our hearts and our minds. Claim it, live it, know it, study the scriptures and remember the promises God has for our anxious heart. Let the truth speak, calm over our souls. To conclude, listen, O Israel, Shema, O Israel. In the book of prophet Daniel, we read, You shall be driven away from human society and your dwellings shall be with the wild animals. You shall be made to eat grass like oxen. You shall be bathed with the dew of heaven and seven times shall pass over you until you have learned that the Most High has sovereignty over the kingdom of mortals and gives it to whom he will. Amen. Blessings from the house of Kadosh Marian Ministries. This is Anand Joseph.